Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday, hopefully having a lovely day, nice and relaxing, if you know what I mean. Now I'm thinking to myself, like I haven't done this particular objective, and I don't know if you've done this as well, but it seems to be something that's been kind of missed off, especially if you're not focusing on. So I've got some top tips on how to smash this out in a very quick time frame. Now this is all about the Women of Power objectives. The first one is all about win 20 fights where the final blow is dealt by heavy attack by a female champion. The second one is win 20 fights where the final blow is dealt by a special attack 3 as a female champion. And the final one being win 10 fights where the final blow is dealt by a bleed, incinerate, shock or poison as a female champion. Now I've just had a big brain moment using my IQ. I think my IQ just went up by a couple of points. So, you know, I'm getting close to about 50. But the fact is, you know, if you want to go to the normal difficulty of the Moman Expeditions, then the fact is you can do a one shot with a heavy attack as we're doing here. So that's going to be positive for using a 565. And especially the stronger champion you have female variety, doing this is going to be a lot more straightforward. So I really recommend this. Rather than doing like heroic or, or kind of higher, it just means you're able to kind of blitz through this as quickly as possible. <clears throat> okay, that objective is now completed. That's some lovely 200 five star shards my way. And now it's on to the next one, which is to do 20 fights where the final blow is dealt with a special attack 3 as a female. Now for this, I probably would recommend Morningstar. There are other champions and obviously you can build up power. I would say as well, look to balance out where you grind out. Now I'm doing Master. I don't think Epic would be good of value because essentially we're doing this. We're doing a heavy attack, we're then gaining the power gain buff. And then we're going to hit, 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 hit and continue hitting in, in order to like build up that SP3 until we get close, really darn close. And then to the end of percentage, we're then going to be hitting in for the win when we eventually get there. Come on. So um, he'll throw his SP2. Excellent. We're then going to do it again. We're going to go into a. We're going to try and get the, the parry off and then go for the heavy attack. There we go. Getting at the power gain again. And again, we don't want to overpower. This is the thing. Getting right up close to about, I want to say, about 15% or 10%. Let's just do that in 10% instead. There we go. Hit him with 4%. Very, very tight there. It's probably not advisable to do that. As that may have been a bit too uh, to kind of close for comfort. But still, you know, uh, we'll get we'll get the, the, the thing that we need for the objective. So uh, let's just, just see that that actually worked. And I would probably say just like repeat the process. Once you've practiced with one fight, it's easier to do this. And I will kind of like, without kind of like going into it and actually kind of grinding through the 20 um, for, for that, I will just explain the final one, obviously as quickly as possible. There's going to be several champions available for this one. So basically you've got to win 10 fights where the final blow is dealt by a bleed, incinerate, shock or poison as a female champion. And there are loads, there are loads to speak of for this. Now one champion to follow and kind of cover all bases is going to be Black Widow, hitting up Incinerate, Poisons and Bleeds, all three effects, which is really impressive. But there are other champion options. There is Jane Foster Thor, she's pretty good at doing shock. You've then got uh, champions like uh, Morningstar. Morningstar's got the bleed, and that just kind of happens um, just generic. It didn't really happen too much when we were fighting uh, a moment ago in the video. But I would probably say Gwenpool would be a solid option, as that champion does bleed. But at the same time, there are a lot better options like Gamora off the SP1. You then got X23, Electra. But I think my top pick for this has got to be Nebula with the Proxima Midnight Synergy. So we'll kind of do that now. And why this is the best option is because when the champion starts the fight, they get uh, 10 of those uh, Electro Shock Charges. And we're going to demonstrate now why that is so good because this is just going to hopefully, fingers crossed, melt the damage. In theory, this should work. I haven't practiced this out, but I know I'm pretty confident in this one. So a well-timed block, or basically the parry, which is going to be now, is going to do the job. So that's really what I recommend. Nebula with the Proxima Midnight Synergy. And I think that goes down the rarities quite far. Let's just double check that. Yep, that is confirmed. You can do it as low as the three star. I don't know if the two star works. I don't have a two star Nebula. Just turn and check it out. But still, it is pretty cool to see that. So yeah, really recommend uh, doing that to do the rest. 
But you know, as I say, the rest is history. Now I hope this video helped anybody that's looking to cheese these objectives that maybe they haven't done. And hopefully, you know, if this video really helped you out, then please hit the like button. That would really help out and support the channel. Drop a comment, maybe other champions that I haven't considered to use in order to cheese this event. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And the final thing is always to check out some content here and also check out some supporting links over here to the second channel. We're nearly monetized, so we can nearly get super chats and as well push more content on it. So thanks very much for the support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.